All right, so today you're going to take what you learned about cave painting and you're going to make your own stylized cave painting, right? So I already told you that you should think about the animal that you want to use if you're going to use animals, uh, preferably animals, but I mean, if you want to use other things too, that's not a problem. Uh, but try and make it, you know, simple and not too detailed. You know, this is your version of a cave painting. So I've started out here with a background and I've basically taken the brush tool and I've colored it all in this light brown color. Now for you, you don't have to do that. If you wanna use white or some other color, that's fine too. Uh, the idea here is that, you know, you use the entire space though, okay? All right, so for my animal, I've chosen my pet and probably a lot of you will choose your pets as well. And of course, I own two miniature pinchers. So I've taken a picture and I've used the layer, add image as layer, and I've uploaded the picture that I downloaded. Um, I've gone over all of this before. You know, you guys have used Pixlr before. So if you want, you can check out the links that I put in the chat for videos explaining how to upload pictures and whatnot. Okay. So what I'm basically going to do is just, you know, outline this dog on a separate layer. Make sure you use it on a separate layer. Okay, so I've already started on my outline here, and I'm just going to finish it up. Okay. Now, the thing about these drawings is that I don't want them to be super detailed. Okay. So I'm basically just doing an outline. I've added a few uh, contour lines to make it more interesting for me, but you don't have to do that. If you want just an outline, um, that's fine with me, okay? Uh, if you want to color it in, that's fine too. But again, I want you to, it to be simplistic. I, all I want you to do is just communicate, uh, you know, what kind of animal it is. Right? A lot of the cave drawings, that's what they did. Although some of them look more realistic than others, like the one cave in uh, Chavo, I think it is, with the lions. Those lions were looking pretty realistic. And maybe some of the bison in the Altamira cave were looking pretty realistic too. But I don't want you guys to spend that amount of time on this assignment, okay? So when you do use the mouse or the trackpad, whatever it is you're using to outline, um, you should stop every so often, right? So if I made this long line and then it was pretty good, but then at the very end I messed it up, um, I could either erase it, okay? Let's erase that. Erase it to the part which is, you know, where I want. Or I could just use Control Z. And that makes it go by a little bit quicker. So if you stop and then do short bursts and then you use Control Z, it's a lot easier and it goes by quicker than trying to switch to the erase tool. Okay. All right. So. I've done my outline here. And then I'm just going to erase that layer. And so that, that looks pretty decent. Okay, that's kind of what I wanted. And then I'm going to use the arrange tool, this one right here, the arrange tool. And I'm going to resize that and move it over. And then I'm going to start making my army of miniature pinchers. Oops. So I'm going to press Control copy and Control v to paste. Control v to paste again. Just start making my army and basically fill up this space. Now, I don't have to use like the same picture if I don't want to. Uh, I have some other outlines here that I did for another project. So I can always use these two and just kind of add, add them in here as well. So, but the same basic thing, you know, just take your outlines of your animals or the colored animals or whatever it is and just fill up this whole space and kind of make it look like those uh, cave paintings where the animals were overlapping with each other and stuff um, to make it interesting, to make it kind of like the cave paintings you saw. Okay. So I will... Add a few different ones. Okay, unlock this. 
so I can resize it. And again, you can use whatever color you want. I mean, this is kind of a dark red, this is a red, and this is a purple, okay? But, you know, I'm not saying that you can't use whatever colors you want to. The only thing I want you to do is make sure you fill up the space as best as possible, okay? Let me see what else I have here. Ooh, it's a pretty decent one. All right, so that's pretty good. I've basically filled up the space. Um, so I'm pretty much done, okay? So after I'm done, what I'm gonna do is go to File, and I, I can export it as a PNG, or I can just save, and then save what I want to. I'll name it. So, mean, mean cave, I have my JPG, quality, high, medium, low, whatever you want, and then download, okay? And I use that mean ping cave to upload to the assignment and it'll be finished. All right, so the next video, I'll show you how to do this assignment using uh, drawing tools.